Hey guys, welcome back to the Auction Modeler. We've got issue 15 of Hachette Park Works, Spitfire. So in issue 15 we're carrying on with the um, details for the cockpit inside wall. So we've got that just uh, there. Um, now obviously I've already got the parts laid out here as well, so what I'll do um, I'll bring in the cockpit wall as we've got it up to now because obviously everything just gets attached onto um, what we've built up in the last issue. So that's this here, so obviously that's uh, kind of what it looks like just there. So everything is going to get attached to this. Now where's my pin? So um, I did show it in the last couple of videos but I'm using um, like, um, I, suppose, I think you, I think Americans call it a bobby pin, I think, um, just because it's a little bit more accurate than using um, a cocktail stick, a little bit smaller. So, hit the clippers. Right, so the first part are cuts part I and H from the frame 15-9. Uh, check the fit, four pegs on the inside of part I fit onto the holes in part H. Now, that is these two bits, one there and one there. So, same on this camera, that one and that one. So if we just click these off, now I believe these are the um, air cylinders. Um, for when the pilots were flying uh, with the mask off. So same as previous, just get rid of any little nubs that are left over. That one, and that's that one there, brilliant. So, uh, the four pegs on part I fit, uh, on the inside of part I fit into the holes in part H. As indicated, when you're happy with the fit, use a little, uh, use a cocktail stick to apply a little super glue to the pegs and fit in place. So, that's kind of how they look when they're done. So you can see just there, it's quite a nice seam actually, that doesn't appear to be too um, too much. Now this is quite a snug fit, so there we go. So I've just got a little bit of glue in the case here, so I'll just get the part there. So just a little bit of glue on those pegs and then straight back together. So there we go, that's all glued together. So that is um, part one done. Now part two, um, or it's, uh, step two, sorry, uh, cut part F from frame 15.9. The pegs on the end of F fit into the holes on the assembly that we've just done. So part F is this one, just here. So, if we just clip that off there, and there. Now I don't think there's a set way around for this, because it looks like it's, it's kind of, I'll hold it like that so you can see it, it's kind of um, pretty uniform all the way around on this one. So if we wind that up, pop that in there, yep, that fits nicely. So same again. Dab a glue on the end of both of these. So there you go, into those holes, just like that. That's that bit done. Uh, next, we need to take some of the smaller cockpit details. So, now with this, you get a couple of little bags. Now, I'm a little bit confused about this because this one, just here, was on the um, back sellotaped to the pot. But there was one exactly the same, so this one just here, 
on the inside. So, and then obviously you get all this, this little bag with all these little, uh, kind of little components in. So I'm wondering if it's in the, that, that part is meant to be the replacement for that one again. We'll find out shortly. So, take the cockpit detail 15.3, which is, let's grab all of it there for you, so you can see, so it's that one just there. And 15.7, and 15.7 is this little handle one, just here. A raised tab on part 15.7 fits into the recess on 15.3. So, see if I can show you on this one. So it's just that little tab, just there, fits into that little hole, just there. Uh, check the diagrams carefully to make sure you have the parts the right way around when you're happy fit uh, with the fit glue in place. This assembly is the throttle and mixer control level. Lever, sorry. So, what? how this goes, it's quite self-explanatory really. Um, so it should fit in when you're happy with the fit and it's all glued together. Like, let's see if I can get my hand out of the way. There you go, like that. Ooh. So, I'm just gonna, the, the fit on this is absolutely fine. So, I'm just gonna get that peg, pop a little bit of glue on the end of here. So that's that. And then, glue that in place. Like that. So, if I hold that like that, and then I can just show you like that, or even better on this camera just here. I'm just going to move this camera forward just a little bit. Move that out of the way. There we go. So, yeah, like that. So, these are the two parts that we've got that we've already completed with this issue, so I'll just pop these just here. Um, uh, cut part A from frame 15.1, so part A is this one, kind of boxy one at the top here. I love the fact that all these parts are the, exactly the same shade of um, green as the cockpit parts. Um, it just makes things a lot easier and things will kind of blend in a lot uh, more evenly when this is all built all built up um, okay so cut part a from the assembly uh, from frame 15.1 and take the assembly from issue 14 which is this one just here um, check the fit of part a on the two pegs near the front of the Port cockpit frame 14 1 as indicated. When you're happy with the fit glue in place, also see step 5 with part A in position. So, what we're looking at for part A is these two little tabs just here. Whoopsie, a little bit high up. So, that one there and that one there glue into those two holes on the back just there. So it goes in with the sloped part facing upwards. So yeah, that fits in fine. So it's all just trial and error sometimes with this, making sure that you're referring back to the instructions and back and forth and back and forth. Obviously, if you've been building models for years, you'll know all this anyway. But if you're new to it, it's always worth just double checking everything. Right, there we go. Oops. Okay. So that's on there. Quite a level. No, nope, that's not quite got there. I'm just going to put a little bit more glue just onto the sides of this part actually. Just a little just a little smear of glue down the sides there, just so that it can actually grab onto the um, the 
and metal on this part. There we go. So try and make sure that sits as level as you can. There we go. So that's that one glued in. Um, cut part B from the frame uh, 15 one, which is this one with like the um, the tiny little handle on it just there. So again on this camera just up here, so it's that one there. So cut that bit off. Same as before, clean it down with your scalpel. Same on the top. And then this one uh, glues into position on this peg just here. So you've got the, the two little pins there and there. It's this long rectangular peg just here that needs to glue onto. And that obviously glues onto the back just there. Now the handle part, so when you're looking at it at the front, the actual handle, this bit at the top here, needs to face up. So, put a dab of glue in there. And then I'm going to run a little bit around the edge as well. And then, using my trusty tweezers, Put that on there, make sure it goes in. That's it. Actually, no, that's gone in fine. Like that. Brilliant. So, there we are. And close up on that one. So you can see what that looks like as well. Right then. So that's step five. Step six, cut part D um, from this frame. Um, identify the fixing points on 14.1 and check that it fits into position which I cannot, from the instructions, see properly. Ah, right, I think I know what it is. So, for this bit, I'm going to cut, so this is part um, D, just here. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll cut this off the sprue, and then I'll show you, once I've cleaned everything down, where this needs to sit. So, so that's your part, okay? Now if I put it sideways on so you can see the profile, there's like that little um, kind of rectangular hole just about there. That sits actually along the rail and it sits along that rail just there. So check the fit. That goes in that way round, so it goes round that bit. So basically when it's in and glued in and everything, it will sit like that. So what I'm gonna do is now it is a it is a full trench all the way down, so you can put a bead of glue running all the way down that trench. Now just make sure with this you get it in the right way round. So there's a little um, indent at the top which I'll show you in just a second. So that little indent just there will sit against this supporting bracket bit just here. That. That's it. There we go. So that's that one in. Same on that camera there. Now part E is this one. So this is the next part. So I'll just cut this off the sprue and then we'll go through all of the instructions for this bit. That's that. And then this will go on to... Uh, check, so it says uh, cut part E from frame 15.9, check how it fits against part 14.2. Um, um, 
blocks in the top corners of part 14 too, circled in the image in yellow, um, fit against slight recesses in part E, and they are very, very slight recesses. The bottom corner of E fits over the tab at the bottom glowing place. So what we're doing with this one is, it's going here, okay, it's going there, and it's going in, so that long rectangular sort of indent at the bottom here will go over that little supporting bit there. So in the end, what it will do is it will go in just like that. So what I'm going to do for this bit is on the, if you look at the back of the part, you've got sort of little recessed parts, so in the top corners and then a bit down the bottom, whoops, so there and there and then there's a little bit down the bottom. Um, all I'm going to do is put the glue on those recesses, just a little drop of glue on each one. this into place there like that like that and that's in so we've got it on that one and we've got it on that one there so uh, that's that bit so um, next is part 15.8 which is uh, this cog I believe Unless I am mistaken, let me have a quick look through the instructions here. No. Uh, right, here we go. This is for part 15.8. So that's the one that was in the box. So this is the part that we need. It says here, note, part 15.8 has incorrect wording. So it's just that bit there. So it looks like the wording that's been printed on it is incorrect for... Um, obviously historical um, build. Um, we've supplied a replacement part which is fixed to the back of your blister pack. You, you should use this part. You will also need the assembly from issue 14. So we'll not use that one so I'll get rid of that. I'll open this one up because this has got the correct wording on it. And then this is the part that we're going to install uh, next. So right cut this off of the sprue like that and then this part cut the replacement part 15.8 from its frame identify the hole in the corner of part d check the fit and glue in place so it's this one that little hole just there whoops a little bit higher a little bit higher 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 there we go so it's that little hole just there, that we're going to be gluing this into. There we go, so that's got that on. And then if I just line that up, pop it straight into there. There we are. So that is glued in there. Uh, next cut part G from frame 15.9 so that is this big cog part here and that's that black frame all done with. Uh, check the fit on peg D, uh, the peg on part D sorry, and glue in place. So this goes pretty much next to the part that we've just glued in. So it's going on to this little peg just there. Just check that fits on properly. Yeah, that does. And then dab of glue. So I'm putting the glue inside the hole just there and then just swirling it around a little bit. And then bob that onto there, hold it down. There we go. So that bit is on as well. So you've got that there and you've got on that one as well. So that's step 10. Step 11. 
Um, take part 15.2, which is this one here with the unhappy face on one side and then the writing on the other, which is radiator flap. It's got radiator flap open and closed on it. That fits onto those two pegs, whoops, other way around James, there and there. And it should go with the, obviously the writing, just on that bit, facing straight up. So that fits on well. So, I'm loving the detail on this now. Um, the detail on the engine was a pain um, because there were a lot of small cables and I know there are a lot of small cables coming with the um, the cockpit parts and things like that but the, the detail inside this I mean I mean just just look at that it, it looks amazing and that's just the frame with a few little plastic bits glued onto it it's not actually even anywhere near completed yet um, so right glue that in place um, then the next step is to take the throttle assembly, which is this one just here. So the glue should have dried properly on this by now. And uh, find the tab on the framework if it's into the slot on 15.3. When you're happy with the fit, apply a little super glue and glue it into place. So the throttle assembly goes on to this little peg just there. So. glue on there to hold it. Now when you're gluing this on, it goes on with the rounded side facing straight down. So when it's on, it will look like that. So that's the bit that we've just glued on just there. So, that's that. Um, Next stage 13, cut part C from the frame and remove any rough edges. This part fits over the lower part of 15.2 so that the pegs on C are located in the holes on 15.2. So that's this one, last one on this green sprue just here. So that's the end of that sprue, that's the end of that sprue, lovely. So we'll just give this a good, good clean up, that's fine. That's fine. So, now this part that we've just cut off, so this one here, there, goes over this one here. And the two pegs on the back of there will go into those two holes with that little um, recess, oh, move my hand out of the way, that little recess at the top there facing straight up. that and then I'll just glue that onto there. Whoopsie, there we go. That's in. So that one goes in just like that. So you can see it just here. Just there. Loads better. That's part 13. Part 14 is to attach, <laughs> now we've got small bits again, wizard. Take part 15.5 um, and identify the fixing point on the cockpit panel 14.5. The fine pipe at the bottom of 15.5, which is this one here with the um, silver kind of dial on it. Um, fits into the recess in the frame as indicated. So basically just follow the instructions. What it's doing is the two little pins on the back of the part are going into 
those two holes just up here and then there's another little pipe that will just go into that tiny hole just down there so glue into that glue into that and a dab of glue just into that hole down at the bottom just in there and then what I want to do with this one is I want to use my slightly smaller tweezers just to lower that into that one. There we go. And then move that round a little bit so that fits in place there. That pipe's in there. Lovely. So that's that one done just up here. And then... Now oh, I've missed a bit. What have I missed? Right, there was two parts to step 10, so we'll go back to the second one in a minute. It's not going to cause any problems with what we've done up to now. So, so um, next part of the instructions are um, to fit the um, air tanks. And these go on to these four pegs just down here so that's the four holes on the back of the air tanks there Tanks on, whoopsie, it's moving all over the place. Right, so that's that bit done. Now, the step that I missed on um, step 10 and step 8 as well. I've not had a good week, have I, this week? Right, so step eight is this little part just here, okay? Whoops. So this tiny, tiny little bit with a little pipe on the end goes into this hole just here. So I'll just get that glued in place, and then the little pipe will go into that little hole just down there. So, just put a dab of glue on the peg, and then a dab of glue into the hole, just there. Get my good tweezers. There we go. So that one's in. A little bit of glue on the back of that one because I don't know if it is going to hold properly in there. There we go, that's better. So that's that one. And then the uh, second part of step 10 is this part just here with the uh, couple of little lines on it. This one will go into these two pins, uh, sorry, two holes just there on this one. And then that is issue 15, all done. So we're getting into the detail work a little bit now as well in the cockpit. Um, I am loving the build. Um, I think it is very, very detailed. Um, that is one thing that I do like about it, it is incredibly detailed. Now, I have built Spitfire models before, as I think most British model builders have. Um, so what you've got, just showing you the cockpit there, so that's everything we've got up until the end of issue 15. So yeah, that's, uh, that's all looking good there. And then just on this one as well, 
So you can see the detail coming in now, which is nice. Um, it's good to have a little bit of a little bit of detail. Uh, with issue 16, we're getting the framework for the starboard side of the cockpit. So all those details just down here. So that's that. That's everything that we get with the next issue, um, which I have got just sat over here staring at me. Um, so I'll be recording that one in just a second. So please remember to like, share and subscribe to the Auction Modeler for more weekly model building geekiness. Um, these Spitfire videos are going to be coming out every few days just until I've got 16, 17 and 18 completed as well. And then we'll go back to normal when the next set of packs comes. So that's it. Um, until next time, guys, please remember, happy modeling and stay safe.